So here's the deal. You want to be a VTuber, but you don't have a good computer. Well, what if I told you everything you need is on your phone? Through the power of the almighty Streamlabs app, you too can bring your VTuber avatars to life on stream. Now, there's already phone apps that let you stream to their service, and we've covered methods to use those on a PC, but today we're going to use Reality and VTube Studio to stream on YouTube with just your phone. This can work for any app that animates an avatar, and you are able to stream to Twitch, Facebook, or any other service you want. If you find the video helpful, drop a like to subscribe it really helps me out but let's hop into it we're first going to find streamlabs on the app store and download it from there you'll be prompted by a very familiar looking login screen allowing you to sign in with either facebook twitch youtube or a custom streaming server once selected simply follow the login process and you'll be directed to a selection screen where it asks what you'll be streaming since we are going to use another program like reality or vtube studio we want to select stream your games because we need screen sharing in order to go live the app does need you to enable microphone and camera even though we won't be using the camera for streaming. You'll also need to accept the privacy agreement and decide if you want notifications. Once you've gone through all of those steps, you're finally ready to start setting up your stream. We're going to go to settings, which is in the top left section of the screen. From here, you can change your account settings, which is where you will add or remove streaming services. If you have Streamlabs Prime, you can do multi-streaming, but we're not going to cover that this video. Next is rewards. You get points for going live, getting viewers and connecting more accounts, and a few other things which you can see under tasks, which lets you unlock minor perks such as a theme, discount on Prime, or removal of the watermark. One of the first I would unlock is disconnect protection. Once you turn this option on, it helps keep the stream active if you lose internet connection for a few seconds, and this is really useful if you're on a less stable internet. Right next to it is streaming settings, where you can change things like audio quality, output resolution, frame rate, and bit rate to help ensure a smooth streaming experience if you're on an older phone. And finally, we have alerts, which gives you full control over over your normal Streamlab alert. However, what we need is actually in advanced mode. If you activate this mode, you gain access to themes, which does require Prime, and your editor, which is where you can change the layout of your screen. However, what we want is screen capture. When you select screen capture, it will ask you where you want to stream. Since we're on YouTube, we'll create an event give it a title and description, and from there, we can click on the tutorial button, which will give us a nice three-step guide on how to turn on screen capturing. For iPhone, you'll need to go to settings and then open the control center and add screen recording to the list. You'll now have the screen record option on your swipe down phone menu, but more on that in a moment. It's time to open up our VTubing programs. For this example, we'll be using VTube Studio and Reality. For VTube Studio, just select the model and background you want, for reality, go to the outfit selection screen and customize your model there. I have full tutorials for both programs linked in the description. We're now ready for streaming, so it's time to reopen Streamlabs. One side note is this title and description is what will be used every time you go live, so if you want unique titles or descriptions, you need to change it every single time. Once you click save, it will remind you that widgets don't work on iOS with screen capture, and you can now choose to go live directly from the app. You click on the screen record button, once you do, Streamlabs will appear, and once you select Start Broadcast, you have about three seconds to swap to your VTubing program before it goes live. Screen capture shows everything on your phone, so make sure you don't have any sensitive information on your screen when you go live, and I would highly recommend turning off notifications while you're streaming. Congratulations, you're now streaming on mobile using your avatar. I do want to mention that the stream will be in phone vertical mode, so you'll have black bars on the side of the screen, but this is still pretty awesome and a great way to get into VTubing on mobile. This method will allow any program that animates avatars to work, but unfortunately, reading your chat or using widgets is not possible while screen sharing because you have to leave your VTube program open. Hopefully this will change in the future, but right now this is a very big limitation that I want to make sure everyone knows about before they try this. If you just want to try VTubing on your phone, I highly recommend Reality. It's a great app, has its own streaming service, and allows you to easily see the chat. Full tutorial, again, linked in the description. When you're finished streaming, you can either open the Streamlabs app and end the broadcast there, or if you're on your phone's home screen, you'll see the time is in red in the top left-hand corner. If you tap on that, it'll ask you if you want to end your broadcast, click OK, and you're done. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, leave a comment and a like, and I'll see you all next time.